Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you a great new feature that was introduced with Trimble Business Center version 5.40 that utilizes Trimble's RTX correction service to enhance baseline processing within TBC. This new enhancement is available with the Trimble Intermediate License as well as all the subscription editions that are currently available. It can easily be accessed under the Survey tab and within the Internet Download tool located within the GNSS features of the ribbon. This feature uses atmospheric models from Trimble's RTX post-processing service to reduce errors and achieve accurate, fixed solutions with much shorter occupation times. Best results will be found in areas such as Europe and the United States where CenterPoint RTX fast coverage is available. Here I have a project that contains several files that were created from the raw GNSS data and converted using the latest version of Trimble's Convert to Rhinex utility in the 3.04 format. This utility not only produces the appropriate Rhinex files, but also creates the broadcast ephemeris files to be used in the processing results. The project is made up of one two-hour observation at the base and one 10-minute observation of overlapping time at the rover. The overlapping time results in the baseline that is 112 kilometers and 69 and a half miles in length. Let's go ahead and bring in the remaining precise ephemeris files and see what kind of results we get before and after the RTX corrections. To avoid having a flag after the processing results, let's first change the quality of our base station from an unknown quality to either survey or control quality. To do this, simply select the dropdown next to the point in the Project Explorer, select the global coordinate, and right-click to open the properties. In the properties pane, select the question mark next to the latitude and change the quality of the point to control. Repeat the same steps for the height. Double-click the red circle in the top of the ribbon to recompute the project. Now you can see we have a triangle at our base station indicating a control quality point. Now we're ready to bring in our additional precise ephemeris files. To do this, under the survey tab, select the internet download. In the internet download pane, under precise orbits, we want to bring in both the IGS final orbits and the IGS final GLONASS orbits. Select the final orbits and select automatic to bring in the files for the time span of our project. There's also a user defined option to bring in additional data if needed, but we will use the project's time span for this example. Select OK. A status bar will appear at the bottom of the download pane, indicating when our files are ready to import. Import the files. As you can see, we now have the files under the imported files in the Project Explorer. Repeat the same steps to import the IGS final GLONASS orbits. As you can see, we now have both sets of files imported into our Project Explorer. Close the Internet Download pane, and we are now ready to process our baseline. Under the Survey tab, select Process Baselines. This results in a float solution due to the large horizontal and vertical precisions and the short duration of overlapping time. Now let's cancel these results and bring in our RTX corrections and see what happens. In the Internet Download, scroll down to the CMRX Corrections and Trimble's RTX Corrections. Select Automatic and import the files for the time span of our project. As you can see, we now have four RTX Correction files imported to the project. Close the Internet Download pane 
and let's process the baselines. Now you can see we have a fixed solution with horizontal and vertical precisions around a centimeter. Let's save the results to ensure we have no flags. After processing with Trimble's RTX corrections, we now have a fixed solution with excellent horizontal and vertical precision. This concludes our demonstration, and I hope you find this workflow useful in one of your upcoming GNSS surveys.